All right, so now let's design a sync lead patch from scratch. I'll make sure I'm in patch mode. Initialize the preset by holding shift patch and hitting enter here. So we just have one sawtooth oscillator. I'm actually gonna bring down oscillator one and just bring up oscillator two. I'll switch it to a square shape. A square sync lead will sound pretty cool. Let's make it monophonic. So only one note at a time. No overlaps. And now let's turn on sync. So now oscillator 2 is synced to oscillator 1. Now to really hear the sync, we need to modulate the pitch of oscillator 2. So I'll crank up this pitch amount. And now immediately you hear that sync scream. You can play around with oscillator 1's octave, as well as for oscillator 2. I would generally keep oscillator 1 at a lower octave than oscillator 2. When it comes to sync, you'll get the best results with that. Okay, so let's say I'm done with the sync setting. Next, let's layer in some noise. I'll set it to pink. We don't want it too loud. Maybe just a little bit of that sub as well. I'll bring the color down and leave it at sign. Now let's bring in the filter. I don't want to filter it too much, but I do want a little bit of envelope modulation. Keep the decay there, sustain up, release sound a bit, and no attack. Same for the amp envelope, no attack, decay at about half, sustain down a bit, and release up a bit as well. I'll open up that cutoff just a little bit more. Let's add some glide with the portamento option here. I'll also turn on legato. So you can hear in this legato mode, the envelopes do not re-trigger. I'll push up that sustain on the filter envelope so it stays a bit more bright. We can cut some lows with the high pass filter. Pretty good. We can bring in some effects. Little bit of overdrive. Some chorusing here. You can hear the stereo width really expands there. And I'll use a hall reverb. If you find that sync scream a bit too much, you can always turn down the pitch modulation. Now it's smoother and not so squelchy. Yes, I definitely like this a lot better. Cool, so that's our oscillator sync lead sound. Let's save this preset. Hit the right button. Scroll to patch and hit enter. We can now enter a name for this patch. I'll just call this sync lead. It might take some time to write in the preset name as you would need to scroll through all the different alphabets. And once you have the name, hit enter. Now it's asking us where we want to save the preset. I'm going to override this very first preset in bank one. I'll hit enter, patch right, select yes. So now the sync lead has been saved in bank one preset one. Cool, next I'll show you how to create a brassy pad sound. 